So I'm feeling very sad. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of work. Blood, sweat, and tears. Up in flames. Longtime news director and main anchor Kira Bresnahan started her career at the station. She didn't have her news team filming the fire that destroyed KRX TV on Sunday, January 20th, 2008. But today, our camera is rolling, and here's a look through our lens. I'm Sarah Broadhead, and we are right behind what used to be KRX TV. Four days ago, a fire ripped through our home, and for me, it was my home for the past two years, and it was also my first job in the TV business. So we're going to give you a look at something that you've never seen before, something that we've only seen just days ago. So right behind me, we're kind of salvaging what's left of areas in master control and in production. They're looking over the serial numbers, that sort of thing. Any hard drives in there? If it's left, it doesn't mean it works, but we're just trying to see where we stand on equipment. Fire investigators doing a lot of their work before they start to rip a lot of the steel portions down out of the building that was on kind of like the second half of the remodel. So a lot of things going on here, they're kind of just assessing what's left. Here's one of our studio cameras. We had two of them. Yeah. This is one still standing barely. This is our master control. You might want to call it the mothership. This is where the magic happened. They switched the video. They did the audio. They did everything to make magic out here. This is what's left of master control. All of the stuff that makes us go on the air into the transmitter and up the tower is gone. It's sitting right here, charred, mangled metal. It looks like just trash that you'd see in a landfill. The hard hats go on. Okay. Kira and noon anchor Stan Bush head into what's become an unrecognizable home with fire investigators. Bottom two shelves took a pretty good hit. The director's booth was wedged in the middle of the basement. It had never seen daylight. Now sunlight streams through a gaping hole. Yeah. Everything up is Everything up okay. was dry and it appears to be very limited smoke. They're looking at the salvage transmitter in the bomb shelter. The newsroom, normally brimming full of activity, now dead black and drowning with debris. Yeah. No, I can't take anything out You yet. can't take it? Nope. Uh, Even my map of Washington, D.C. surprised. Like this one got the water. It, got, it took a lot of the water from upstairs is what it looks like to me, too. Yeah, straight back into the right is where my office was. Sometimes it just takes our breath away. For those of us who lost everything, Fire investigators are trying to figure out why. Yeah, that's our main objective is to get this two meters out. Uh oh, now he's getting serious. Here's the proof of that. We've got three buildings. One, two, and then a third out back here. This is housing our transmitter. Anything that was saved is in these buildings right now by way of electrical equipment, master control operation. Here's Haas. Hi, Haas. Master control. Master control. With new duties, but. Nate, camera Hi. operator. They knew these video switchers, these cameras, and the computers like the back of their hand. Now they're using those same hands to throw away years of history. Four, six, five, out there, dig around. And start fresh. We all have brand new duties. We're web reporters. We're moving forward. We're in the new PBS studio across town. And everything that happens there is going to be sent to this building here, up the tower. And into your home. Everyone that's here has such a great attitude. We're staying positive. We have to. And we hope you'll stay with us. Reporting for KREXTV.com, Sarah Bronhead and Peter Schaller.